Good Saturday morning. Oh, what time is it? 9.30. Gonna be a cloudy day all day. No rain. Um, I think they were saying Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and maybe Wednesday. Cloudy. Rain chances. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's supposed to be really nice. So, I put a hole in this yesterday. Um, I had that stack that was here. That was two rows there, and then a row of servers. So, I got the soldiers all stacked up, ready to go to the scrapyard. Um, yeah, this is all the, the servers, pretty much. And then there's two stacks over here. Um, today, I am going to take a break from computers, and I'm going to get some of this copper out of the uh the steel i'm not going to clean the copper or anything like that but um just get it out of the steel housing and then i'll put the copper in a tote or something and then if i want to do something different i can uh usually like an hour before i call it a day i'll just sit there and clean copper <clears throat> and get the tape and you know whatever is on it so that's kind of my plan on doing that uh, <clears throat> have my egg sandwich. Got a couple more copper bases. I gotta heat those up. Take those off of there. That one. That one. And this one here. Just heat this up. This is falling apart. Don't have no uh, tubes in them, so you don't have to poke a hole anywhere. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably move this tote over here, right there. Give me a little bit more work room. Um, the saw is ready to go. I was down to my last blade, so I bought a couple more boxes of blades. Uh, that was last week. But uh, so I got four blades sitting there. My other ones were uh, 18 TPI. These are 24s, so maybe they'll cut a little, a little better. TPI is teeth per inch. <laughs> so. That is what I'm going to do today. Um, HH Recycling had a thing that they were going live. I don't know if he ever did. Uh, it was 10.50 my time. And he still wasn't live. So I don't know if he fell asleep or was brushing his teeth or what the hell he was doing. I don't know if he ever went because I didn't uh, look this morning because, you know, it's not really that important to me. I'd rather watch him burn his yard down. <laughs> I'm hoping my landscaper comes out here and cuts this grass, too. I'd like him to do it today if he can. It's going to rain all week. I need to call the city on these people. Their grass is just ridiculous. So, remember yesterday I said they were cutting a tree across the around the next street over? So I went over there and snapped a picture at a truck door to get the number. And the guy just left here, and I asked him, you know, he gave me an estimate on cutting this back. Um, I don't really care about the real tall ones up there, but these lower ones. So, like, from that Y over, um, and then all this mess. And there's that's some big, big trees up there, or big logs, big branches, whatever you want to call them. You know, because you see it's hitting the house, and... Um, I asked them, uh, like these here, these big old crappy trees here, um, even if you just whack them down the defense line, um, just because, you know, see how far over it is in my neighbor's yard there, and these people are really cool, and trim this one back off the garage, and trim some of those back, so they're not hanging over, because see it's kind of hitting their little shed there. Um, guy told me, and I'm going to talk to the management company, and um, maybe I, I can split the cost with the owner. Um, he told me 1200 bucks, which is cheap. Extremely cheap. Uh, so, I'd really like to get this off of here. And it would eliminate a whole bunch of trash up on the roof. For sure. 
for sure. The other thing I don't like is these uh these lines, like these cable lines. That one there was actually up underneath the shingle and it had it lifted up, so with the sun hitting it, it put the shingle back down. But yeah, this is a not very good up there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know. But it would definitely get rid of a lot of this mess. I told him if he just cuts these, he can leave these bigger ones here for now. But I told him I would get back with him. Um, but if the owner wants to uh, split the cost, you know, it's only 600 bucks. Which is, you know, a couple scrap loads. Or see if I can somehow pay for it and knock it off my rent for the month. I'd only owe $95 for that month. <laughs> but it has to be cut because uh, the way these storms are and stuff, the winds, you know, something bad's going to happen. I kind of want it to fall through the roof. Uh, somebody made a comment that it... If a tree, neighbor's tree falls on your house, it's an act of God. <coughs> well, in Michigan, if you have a tree in your yard and it falls on your neighbor's, your insurance pays for it. <coughs> so, I decided that I'm not going to be um, a dick towards the bitch. So, I'm just going to go with the flow, do what I got to do. And that's enough for me to keep doing what I'm doing and just keep pissing her off. Because every time she calls the city, the city will be like, nothing we can do. He's, he's registered. He's licensed. You don't like it? Sell your house. That's the bad part. They bought the house, so kind of stuck with him. But it's kind of funny because I was out on the front porch yesterday and two of the boys were out there. And, hey, Mike, how you doing? You know, like, so it's just her. It ain't the kids. Like I said, she's never here, so... I don't know what she's bitching about anyway. But, like I said, I've been uh, doing a lot of thinking and soul-searching and... Got people yelling at me to do this and do that. And I'm 60 years old. I can figure this out. Appreciate the input, but... You know... I'll get it. I got that, too. Ugh. Damn, I can <coughs> I can barely push that thing. But like I said, it's 221 pounds. <sighs> I got some more uh, laptops for my uh, computer guy. I already got a shelf full, so he may have to take a little time out of a Sunday here and uh, come and get his crap. Like I said, I want to try to get this emptied out a little bit more and... Uh, Move some stuff around and make it a little easier to navigate in here. Make certain areas for certain things or something. I don't know. But we will figure it out eventually. So that's about it. I'm going to slug down some orange juice. Get my table or my floor swept. Get my bench table in here. Uh, I gotta wait till 10 o'clock before I can make any noise. So it's 9:37. So by the time I get everything swept up, moved around, and set up, and get some transformers in here, I'll stack them around here and get going. This thing is heavy as heck. Ugh, I can't even budge that thing. So that's all. You know, stuff that ranges from that big. <laughs> that big these here you just this screw gun takes those right out but I just throw them in here because they had to be cleaned and um, all of the refinery ends like this stuff here um, I think I'm just gonna pull the copper out of these because they're really easy to do so knock those screws out those come out with a hammer 
and then like these here cut them right here and heat this up and then grab this with a pair of needle nose and once it's heated up it'll slide right out of there so you'll have that piece of copper that piece of copper and then cast aluminum and some screws for shredderoni <sighs> and I guess I gotta get the van loaded so I'm either gonna have to do that tomorrow in the rain if it rains all day or uh, Monday because Tuesday morning I have to go that filled up pretty quick. I have to go and pick up 10 hot water tanks. Um, and then possibly Friday pick up another 14 at the same spot. So definitely going to need the van emptied for that. I can get all 10 of them in you know, one, one load. Uh, they're electric so they don't have a gas block on them. But hopefully they have these on them. So that will give me a few more of these. And I don't even have to clean these. My uh, yard... We'll buy these as yellow brass, just like that. Just, I'll just pull that piece of paper off of it. So, that's coming up. Which, like I said, I'm going to have to uh, um, get the van and load it. All this wire is going to have to go outside. Since the copper stripper is being lazy. She ain't even here. Won't be back till tomorrow. So, yeah, all this here, I'm not looking forward to moving that thing there. That's 165 pounds. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got time for that. So Chris at Board Sort told me that the reason that this is so heavy is because it's got one, all these honking, what do you call them? I don't know, big chunks of, uh, Aluminum on them, but this ain't really that heavy. I mean, this is like heavy, heavy. So, but he could be right. Look at these big ass capacitors in here. So, yeah, I guess he could be right. I don't tell him I said he might be right because, you know, we can't have that. I don't even know what's in these boxes. Do not remove the cables. Well, that's just great. I know it's in this box. It looks like just computers. Looks like pooters and disk drives and shred. Why would you put all this stuff in a box? Making my life more difficult than it has to be. Yeah, it's all computers in here. A low, low roof, low you, low hat. <laughs> Damn, you bit my tongue. <sighs> Docking station, boo. <sighs> Ooh, I got a home for you, buddy. Yeah, this is just a montage of crap. <sighs> What is that? That'd be a good e-waste mic logo. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Uh -oh. We got the CPUs in the bag. Yeah. I like boxes because you never know. Gonna be in a lot of odds and ends here. Fans. Or fans. I think you could help us brother out with a couple sticks of RAM or something. Jeez. What is this? Yeah. I actually have a phone charger that is designed like this. Except don't have all the, has one plug. But you just put that on your desk, you stick your phone in there and it charges it. It's kind of cool. Works very well. 
I'm going to have a lot of MLC. When the, when the time comes. Alright. And I can get that big old box out of there full of screws. There we go. Alright. Yeah. So, there's a little bit of stuff in there. A lot of switches, though. There's quite a few switches. There's a... Oh, I can't reach it. Suck in the gut. This was probably a battery backup. I'm guessing. Looks like it. And I know there's another one of them right there. And quite a few servers in there too. One, two, three, four. A big old one back there. A big black one. Five, six. There's probably seven or eight maybe. I don't know what this thing is. It's heavy. Heavy, heavy. Alrighty, so. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get this taken care of. That'd be cool. That would be cool. But, like I said, I have to go through the owner and management company. All that other fun stuff. So, with that, I'm going to shakey shake my juice, take a couple slugs, and I'm going to get to work. So, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'll talk to you all later.